Hello all, Project Wargaming here with an update on a little project that I've been working on. So I've gotten uh, completely fascinated by the idea of two millimeter uh, ancients. So uh, there's a, a rule set out there that's supposed to be published later this year called uh, Strength and Honor, I believe. And um, seeing some of those miniatures and the way guys are making them, like it just really fascinated me. So I thought, well, maybe I'll, I'll give it a try at... Uh, at this level, at uh, two millimeter. So just for scale, here is a six millimeter uh, miniature compared to six millimeter, well, here's six millimeter Romans and here is two millimeter Romans. So um, what I did was got them so that they are two millimeters from foot to eye. So somewhere in there, and it's kind of hard to get it exact at this scale, but somewhere in there is uh, two millimeters. So um, these are uh, some Romans that I've tried. And yeah, just a block, a cohort basically. Um, so I to, to, to really show these off better, I think I'm gonna have to put on the, the zoom lens. So we'll see if I can do this right. So um, here is just an example of the phalanx. These actually painted up a lot easier than I thought they were going to. I thought they might be really a big pain to try to get in between all of those spears, but it really wasn't too bad because once you put a nice big heavy wash on them, um, then they all really disappeared. So anyways, I, th I thought the, uh, uh, the successor phalanx uh, looks pretty good. So, um, here are those Romans. These are actually the less detailed Romans. Uh, these are a bit more detailed. Uh, you can see I was able to put a centurion there up front. Uh, I guess I could go in and paint the arms there, some flesh tone, and then... You can see they should just have a little bit more shape to them. And then these guys are still on their uh, supports, so from printing. Um, so I did the, the phalanx, and then these guys, I wanted to go in and try out some skirmishers. So you can see that I just modeled up a bunch of guys with their arms up in the air. These guys are uh, modeled after slingers. And then... I wanted to try some that looked like they had some spears or javelins. And then these guys, I think, are bows. Yes, yeah, so this is the backside of the guys that have the bows. It's kind of hard to keep focus there, but yeah. So, um,. Anyways, really kind of fascinating. I did try to, obviously these are very close ordered. And then these, I wanted to try modeling some open order um, warriors as well. So these guys have the, the javelins. Just wanted to put them on a base and see what they looked like. So these guys are definitely tougher to paint. Um, yeah, so you got to basically spray paint them all brown um, so you get the, the ground and then it's just a dry brush technique uh, so yeah um, so dry brushed white um, and then I just came over top with a, a, a flesh tone just to give the heads and the, the arms um, some detail there and then a wash over top so that's uh, yeah anyways that's what I've been working on I think I'm gonna try to put together Maybe some armies for uh, Militus Mundi in the meantime, and just uh, give them a try, use their their base size and everything, um, and, uh, and and see how that goes. So, anyways, uh, that's what I've been working on. We'll talk to you later.